Oh, I believe you've already drilled your borehole, right? So once you are finished drilling your borehole, the next thing is to uh, send your water to the lab for testing. You can send it to any Ghana Water Regional Office uh, offices near you. Or, you know, uh, if you are in Accra, the Ghana Water Regional Office is at 37, right behind the 37 Military Hospital, uh, on that road leading to the Jubilee House, right? Um, the Jubilee House or the uh, Flagstaff House. Alternatively. And you can send um, the water to CSIR, that's Water Research Institute. They are located around airports on that road right in front of the Stambic Height. Right? Is it, the, 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 is it cocoa vanilla? Is it cocoa something, something like that? Okay. The truth is that due to the positioning of Ghana's uh, geology, the country sits on um, a whole lot of mineral deposits. And these mineral deposits do seep into the aquifer. Uh, resulting in uh, Ghana's water being extremely saturated with high level of um, minerals. So, um, so those in the Greater Accra uh, region generally suffer from salty water. All right. So there are very few locations in Accra where you can drill a borehole without encountering salt without getting salt in your water so if your water sample comes back salty after testing then what's next what are you supposed to do how uh, uh how you how would you even be able to tell the level of salt in your water all right here is a sample of ghana water test result and here is another sample of uh Test result from Water Research Institute, right? Pay close attention to the TDS level. That's the total dissolved solids. The total dissolved solids in your water is the addition of all the dissolved um, ion minerals in your in your water. I mean, they used to be solid, but they've after dissolving in your water, they become mist, and so they they dissolve in your water. So the safe standard for TDS is 500 milligram per liter. Anything above this level is unsafe for direct consumption for drinking even at 500 milligram per liter the water will still have some funny taste like that actually most bottled water have their tds below 20 milligram per liter so if your tds is uh, above 500 milligram per liter you will need a reverse osmosis machine to separate the salts or the or those minerals from the clean water and the machine to um, uh, separate these minerals are quite, I mean, on, on the high side, it's a little bit expensive. Uh, and the higher your TDS level, the higher the cost of the machine, okay? So keep in mind that reverse osmosis machine produces uh, a lot of wastewater. For example, if your water has a TDS of uh, 2,000 milligram per liter, and you have a machine designed to produce uh, a 1,000 liters of treated water, per hour, right? It will waste more than twice that quantity of water into the drain as waste water, right? So these machines that comes in different production capacities such as um, half ton, uh, quarter ton, one ton, two tons. The tonnage actually represent one, okay? Half ton represent half of one. So half ton is 500 liters per, uh, per, per hour. One ton is uh, 1,000 liters per hour. Quarter ton is 250 liters per hour. Two ton is 2,000 liters per hour and like that respectively like you see. So expect your wastewater to be double of your treated water, right? The quantity of your treated water. So apart from salt, you, uh, your water may also contain iron, right? If you have iron in your water, you will need a filtration tank uh, or filtration tanks, right? Popularly called bumbula. This bumbula will be filled with uh, iron remover, filtration uh, sand and uh, stones or media or chemicals. And um, this process is not something you can actually do yourself. It's not something that you, you can. It's not, it's, it's not something you should worry about. Okay, it, let let it be handled by the by the uh, water professionals. It, it, it requires some level of water chemistry and that. So they will install these iron removal chemicals and set up the filtration systems for you. So don't worry yourself, okay? Sometimes your water too may be acidic, uh, uh, in which case you you may need a lime injection system or uh, a soda hash dosing system, okay, to increase the, uh, the pH level of your water. If you don't address the low pH level, the low pH level means that your, your pH level is below 6.5, okay? Anything below 6.5 is not good for you. And it can cause damage to your plumbing systems and, and even corrode your sanitary waste. Um, 
those in the northern part of ghana may uh, have to deal with fluoride right uh whereas accra and kumasi uh, don't really don't typically have fluoride in their in their water you see so i mean fluoride is uh, uh, well probably but I've, I've i don't think those in the greater accra region do have fluoride in, the, in their water all right so when choosing a company to treat your water there are several things to consider firstly if the company doesn't ask for your test result that is a big fat red flag okay so do not trust them with your project if they ask for the test result and later be like oh don't worry we can't even proceed without uh your test result then uh please don't trust them either okay you can't trust those companies they must have your test results to determine the suitable treatment uh, systems okay and secondly secondly ensure they have a physical presence a physical address okay don't employ a roadside water treatment company okay they should have a shop an office or a warehouse because water treatment uh, requires uh, requires frequent servicing and maintenance you will need them for cartridge replacement and other uh, maintenance tasks okay so you also need to ask for references and technical uh, information you need to ask technical questions you need, you need to demand for uh, technical data sheets okay so if they can answer your technical questions or seem hesitant they may not be qualified for water treatment services okay so you need more than just a plumber you need more than just a plumber for uh water treatment okay you need a professional you need a trustworthy uh company to uh treat your water for you all right so thanks uh so that's all for today if you have any question can you do well feel free to drop them in the comment section below and uh, see you in the next one bye